morning, YTPC. Philly Piper, Mike here. It is Wednesday, May 12th. 46 degrees, going up to 66. Excuse me. <clears throat> so today, I am smoking my Vaprati sandblasted uh, canted egg with a oval shank has this uh, almost like an amber type of stem I don't know what you exactly classify that as but um, I love this pipe it's uh, one of my favorite I have a couple of varieties and uh the mouthpiece on this, and it's nice and like it's wide. Let's see if I can show it to you. It's wide, but it's thin, and it's and it's and it's also bent. <clears throat> so it's you know with the oval shank, um, it's just it's a super comfortable pipe. Pretty unique shape and color. Everything is kind of unique about it, which is why I like it. But it's got this really nice blast grain you can see where it, it comes in and then wraps around and then there's like straight grain across the, the shank and in it today I am smoking HU Tobacco's Fetters Flake Fetters Flake. Which is a Virginia Perique. And it's one of the first ones that I had gotten. I bought this off a member of the pipe community before I made my Esterville's order. I got this Yanaman Flake and the uh, Dan Tobacco, Iskanian Castle Blend, Iskanian number two. Um, those were my first experiences with uh, HU and Dan. Well, not Dan, but. And this is a very nice vapor. Um, it's got a very, um, how do I describe it? <clears throat> that Perique flavor where it's like that kind of funk it's got a funk to it almost kind of smells like dirty socks in a good way <laughs> if dirty socks can smell in a good way um it's really uh <clears throat> yeah it, it's got that like even when you when you just the the tin note it's got that musty um funky perique smell which if you weren't a pipe smoker or a Perique fan, you might be like, eh, it smells kind of funky. But the flavor you get from that is really nice. It's got that, I guess you could classify it as like a sour aroma <coughs> or flavor. But it's really uh it's really nice. It, it it's closer towards like the escudo end. Um because escudo kind of has that flavor some that, that 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 smell sometimes, that like musty perique smell. Especially once it has some age on it. <clears throat> fresh fresh tins don't so much, but I'm smoking through a, uh, what is it, I guess a 12-year tin, 12-year-old tin at Escudo right now, and it's, it's, uh, the coins are like pitch black, which is weird, because I've seen, I've had tins, age tins that, you know, were real, like, were real dark, like the one I have now, and then I've had tins that are the same age, um, that are 
light in color, like a, you know, it's, it's strange how air and, you know, I guess how they, when they tint it and all, you know, maybe temperature and whatever, all that stuff plays a role. The, um, I kind of get the same type of uh, smell, or a little bit of from this as the, uh, if you've had the smoking pipes, <clears throat> um, 25th or 20th anniversary, the, the X and the X flake, dark flake and XX flake or whatever they were, um, that has the 18 year old Perique that has a similar, uh, tin aroma that, as this, but it's really got that that raisiny, plummy Perique. Um, it's pretty forward. I don't know how much Perique's in this. It's not, I don't get spice from it, <clears throat> but I definitely get that in your face, you know, the plummy stewed fruit, funk, Perique funk, for lack of a better term, um, in this. I feel like the Perique's fairly forward. Which I enjoy. It's definitely sweet. If you taste the Virginias in it. And I think it has some brown and red Virginia. So I think some of that might be coming from the red Virginia. That, you know, tanginess <clears throat> that you get from red Virginia. But if I'm not mistaken, it's a, it's a red Virginia and brown Virginia. And then... Uh, a good amount of Perique. So when I ordered uh, from Master Bowls, <clears throat> I definitely ordered a few more tins of this stuff. Because it's good. It's real good. If you're a, if you're a Vapor fan. You know, and I, when I was... I've been telling you about my buddy Steve that... Um, is really into the Scudo, <clears throat> and uh, I sent him a bunch of blends, and he said, you know, uh, don't send me any of the HU <clears throat> blends, if, you know, because I don't, <clears throat> shipping's expensive, and, <clears throat> but two of the blends that I definitely would have sent him that I think he would enjoy, and I was almost going to do it anyway, but I, I, I decided not to, was the Louisiana Broken Flake from HU. Um, the Yanneman Flake and the Fretter's Flake. Those three, I think he would really enjoy, especially this one. I think he would really have uh, enjoyed this, but, you know, um, to me, you know, some people are like, ah, oh, the shipping or, you know, it's expensive, but if you think about it, <clears throat> if you, you know, if, if you don't want to pay the, say it's 50 or 60 bucks shipping, which I get, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's not, it's not cheap, but if you order, I mean, I ordered enough tobacco to probably last me close to a year, um, you know, so if you do that, or if you go in, I know a bunch of people, my buddy David, who I got the, these blends from originally, I know him and a few buddies, um, you know, all pitched in and got an order together, and then, it, you know, this way it was only, you know, 10 bucks shipping each and, and they were all able to order what they wanted. So, I mean, I think that's a good idea if you, if you pull together your, you know, your, your buying power to, to make the shipping a little better. But to me, especially the prices, the prices aren't terribly expensive. I, I feel like some of them, you know, on some of the blends are a little bit cheaper from over there. Um, you know, I'm definitely going to make another order at some point. You know, because the, the first order, you kind of, you get the different blends. You figure out what you like, what you don't like, or what you really love, what you need more of. You know, and then at some point, you order more. And what I normally do is, you know, I would do that. Oh, I'll sell a pipe or sell tobacco put that money aside and then I use I fund my tobacco purchases with with the money that I get from 
selling pipes or tobaccos. And then it's like you're not really spending your money. You're kind of just spending money you already had allocated into pipes and tobacco. So that's kind of the way I like to do it. But yeah, guys, um, if you're if you're into vapors like I am, this is a little. This is different. It's not. It's not like a Solani. Uh, it's not as sweet. It's more on the the tangy soury tart funky <laughs> edge of the spectrum uh, like I said I'm not the best at describing flavors that's why I try to kind of just uh, compare them to blends that, I, that I've had or that I know people might be like oh I know what this flavor profile is because I've smoked this tobacco it's like that you know I'm not a real big you know figgy plummy raisiny hay and we talked about that on the virtual pipe club how you know a lot of these people that write these descriptions it's like all right well, yeah what are we doing here it's it's you know uh three paragraph page and it's just you know the figgy plummy raisiny tangy bready citrusy it's like, how many times can you say that about a blend? And it's like, all right, I don't really gather too much about that. But if somebody's like, oh, it tastes like a Scudo or it tastes like Solani or it tastes like HH Pure Virginia, but but it's got this, then it's that that to me is a lot more insightful than just spewing off a bunch of um, uh, adjectives. Why I'm drawing a blank there about a blend. But anyway, guys, I digress. Um, I'm just about to pull into work here. Wednesday, hump day on the downward slide to Friday. And this gets better, as most blends do, the further down the pipe you go. I'll tell you what. Hans Wiedermann, he's definitely, the, if not the top, the top two or three blenders, in my opinion, of the blends that he has, I love, I mean, he's a master blender. We're really, like I said it before, really sucks that we don't have these blends available in the United States because they're really, really good. I mean, really good. But anyway, you guys have a great day. Uh, I'm just pulling into the, to the work lot right now. Um, let, me, let me park here before I end the video because it's kind of hard to drive and back up and reverse and end the video all at the same time. But anyway, guys, um, yeah, like I said, you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you tomorrow, probably. I've been on a roll with these, uh, just, you know, giving my thoughts on these different blends, so I'm going to keep that train a-rolling, and uh, remember, the left lane is for passing. See you guys.